Hi everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. This is Tina with Tina's Craft Creations. I'm on today with a small collective haul from Rachel Tallman, Etsy, uh, The Stamp Market, and Amazon. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is the um, sequin mix subscription that I have from Rachel. I will link her down below. If you follow me, you'll see that, uh, you'll know that I do um, subscribe to her monthly sequin mixes. Um, what do I just do with the little card? <laughs> No, I don't know what I did. Okay, here it is. Um, so this is the April sequin mixes. The first one is called Crunk. It is a blue and yellowy green mix. Super pretty. It says, this sequin mix reminds me of one of my favorite villain sidekicks, Crunk. It is a mix of dark blues and yellow. Aurora is the next one, which is absolutely stunning. Pink, purple, and aqua. You can't get any better than that. And it says, um, make it pink, make it blue. This mix is perfect for the spring and Easter season and one of my favorite mixes lately. Yes, I totally agree. And then the last one is called Charlotte. It's a beautiful pink mix with some little hearts in it. And it says, the love doesn't end in February. This mix has lots of pink and, of course, hearts. I can't wait to see what you make with it. And then Rachel always throws in some candy. So she concluded some Sour Punch candies. Uh, if you hear noise in the back, it is my little wild child Joplin being incredibly bad today. She is making me crazy. <laughs> um, okay, so the next couple things I got were from Etsy. Two different sellers. The first seller was the Heritage Ephemera Pack. Um, I only have like one pack of this, and I think because I got it like when it was on clearance. So I wanted to have another pack. I will be pulling this out sometime within the next couple of months to play with it. It's one collection I've never played with from Maggie Holmes. So I got that. And then on another seller, um, she had two of the uh, 12 by 12, well, 6 by 12 um, double-sided cardstock stickers for the crepe paper. <coughs> Excuse me, the crepe paper here in their collection. This is one of my absolute favorite collections. It's probably my all-time favorite travel collection. I, um, I just love it so much. So, got those. All right. Um, I placed an order with the Stamp Market. Now, this is not a company I've ever ordered from before. I did hear about them from Brie with Love Brie and also Cheryl, and I were talking about this the other day. Um, they did. I did place a very small order on their website, and they just sent a little card says creativity is experimenting growing taking risks breaking rules making mistakes and having fun that is absolutely true so love that little card um i ordered uh, here lately i have been absolutely obsessed with enamel dots i got this set which is the color crush um really pretty colors i got this one which has some like primary colors and it's called color crush Excuse me, it is allergy season in my house, you guys, and it is just like, everything's driving me crazy. Um, this little um, set as well, I love the mint and the teal and the pink and the purple together. So this is also called Color Crush, but it doesn't have like a distinction as to what colors they are. So, oh, this one says, oh, collection number two, collection number one, and collection number seven. So that's the ones I ordered. I think they're so pretty. And then I got a couple of dies. Um, I ordered this metal die a set, which is an embroidery hoop. Love this. Five-piece set. I also ordered this award ribbon. And a little kitty cat. This is the one that um, Cheryl had ordered, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get that too. It's a cat shaker. Obviously, I can use this anytime since I have cats. But those are the dies that I got in the... Um, enamel dots from the stamp market and the last couple things are going to be from amazon i did order um, a punch which is a one and one eighth punch i wrote the measurement on here the reason i ordered this is so that i could punch paper to make um, embellishments with those discs that i bought at joanne's um, so this fits perfect for those small discs so i got this punch for that um, I had watched a, um, a few videos I've actually seen this on. It's a tool from um, Sizzix. It's a crease and curl tool. Um, I wanted to have one of these in my stash, so I went ahead and found one on Amazon. Uh, I also ordered some gold 
um, two inch binder rings because I was starting to run low on like my big ones. And I do like to make my tag flips sometimes kind of chunky, so it's nice to have some big ones. I couldn't find any like two inch pink or any pretty colors. I just found the gold, so I got, uh, I think there was like uh, 18 pieces. I got two, so then that way it'll last me a really long time. And then the last thing I got on Amazon and the final thing in the haul is some crepe paper sheets. Um, these are the colors. You get yellow, purple, green, orange, and blue. I think, oh no, there's pink in there too. Um, I wanted this for die cutting actually. Sorry for the crinkling. Um, so it's red, green, uh, like a dark, like hot pink, a real pretty blue, orange, a purpley color, a light pink, another uh, like a lime green a darker purple and a yellow so i thought these would be nice to have for die cutting although it's not super thick this is almost like tissue paper i don't know i'll figure out something to do with it so it wasn't very much it was like maybe four or five bucks but you get a lot of this obviously so that is my quick little um collective haul from rachel etsy the stamp market and amazon if anyone has any questions please let me know if you've not already i'd greatly appreciate if you would consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next video bye everyone